Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Scum. Okay, everybody, we're inside this bunker from last time. We left you on a cliffhanger. You're like, how am I going to get out of it? I don't know. Hopefully we get we get geared up enough that I can go ahead and I can get out of here with enough gear that I can survive. I mean, a bulletproof vest would be, and a helmet would be amazing. We'll see what we got inside of here. Hopefully the bunker's pretty good size. But there was an update yesterday, guys. There was an update, and we had a few things. Like now, guys, we can actually we can bury boxes. Um, we can bury our chest now, so let's go to the crafting section right now. I think they added some stuff, so that so we, we can actually bury boxes. I need a shovel to do that, but I I think I have a spade back at the house, so we might be able to do that. We might be able to uh, bury our boxes, which would be amazing. And uh, next episode, probably I'll show you how to do that. And then we have compasses as well. I don't know if I can make a compass or if I have to find one. Uh, wait, no, it shows right here. All right, so my compass is already here. So, depending on your survival skill, um, if, well, that's really weird. Okay, my survival skills, guys, are in the 1% of the, of the uh, expert range. So, I should be, uh, my, my compass should look uh, a, lot, a lot better than this. Because it says the basic compass is just north, south, east, and west. And then the next level goes, uh, it's like north, northeast, east, southeast, south southwest south and and then the the most the best compass you can have has all the all the uh the indicators as far as like uh what degree you're at so i don't know why my compass isn't as good as some of the other ones but on the map uh, they changed the icon so you look a little different now look i'm i'm actually instead of uh instead of being a a blue arrow i'm actually a person on my map that's pretty cool pretty decent and then they, we also have personalized signs we can make I'm afraid. Uh, here we go. I think this is it. A blank sign for you to write on. They put, they added that to the game as well. And then they have a new military base in D4. They said. So let's check out the. Uh, let's see. Where's D4? Um, so in the northwest, there's a new military base. We're not that far away from it. So I think we're going to take an, the ATV and we'll go out there tomorrow and we'll see if we can't get into that military base. That'd be cool. So we'll bury tomorrow. We'll bury some boxes. We'll make a sign and we'll go out to the military base. What do you say? But in the meantime, I have to get out of here alive. Let's go ahead and search all this stuff and see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. This didn't this is not starting well. Okay. <laughs> Empty. Okay. Gloves. Equip the gloves. Put that in here. We've got some bullets. Do we have anything that goes along with them? Bullets? Uh, a clip? Sure, man. Why not? <laughs> Nothing, man. Come on, base. Don't fail me now. All right, let's go search in here. Another clip. Um, all right. Well, we're gonna have to. We have to wait till I find a pack. You know what? Let's go ahead and just keep walking until I find a backpack of some kind. I don't have what it takes to make a pack right now. Not even a basic one. Uh, let's see, I got boots. Put those boots on. We can go ahead and put this stuff in here. That's fine. Uh... SVD suppressor, trainer shoes, I don't care about those. Oh, please. Oh, is this a deagle? Hey, man, I got a scarf. Let's equip that scarf. I got a deagle, y'all. <laughs> Put that in my hand. Now I just need some, uh, some, some, I think I have ammo for that at the house. Cool. The uh, cap, we'll add that. We'll equip that. That'll work.
Nothing. Wow. Dude, I I'm 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 starting to feel like maybe we got gypped in this in this bunker, guys. Uh, camera lens. I don't care about the camera lens. Are you serious? This is all linked together? It's all linked together. Sardines. I'll take the sardines. We're going to actually probably should eat those right now. My stomach's zero. We can, we can eat these sardines. Pick the taste. Raw. <laughs> eat it. Fortunately, sardines can be opened without a can opener. All right, that's cool. All right, so, yeah, I'm not seeing very much of anything right now. I think we might have gotten screwed, people. Um, all right, so we've got some soda, baked beans, hiking boots. Drink this soda. Drink it all. Okay, our stomach volume is 24, and we've got baked beans. Uh, it's a, it says sealed. <laughs> Check the taste. It's sealed. Pick it up. Can I, okay, so we're going to take that. That soda pop is gone. They drank it all. There's nothing in here I really need, man. Like, I don't see anything available to me. None of these buttons. Of, wait, there's a container. Ooh, it's bad news, people. Night vision goggles? Yeah, we'll equip them. I mean, I'll take them because I lost my other ones. Oh, man. She is just rocking the look, isn't she? <laughs> hey, there's an emergency bandage. Let's drop this uh, suppressor. Screw that for suppressor. Take the bandage. I might need it when I get out of here. I mean, until I have a pack, man, anything else is just, I, there's no point. There's just no point until I have a backpack. And I'm not going to find a backpack in a in a locker. So, or in a box. It's going to be laying out. Unless it's in a big container. So I think we're screwed, people. <laughs> I do, I do. I think this bunker was a bust, man. Yeah. I mean, if I had, if I'd have made it in here with my pack, it might have been different. But really, it's all like miscellaneous. I mean, it's all miscellaneous stuff that I hopefully could use. But we're not giving up yet. We're not. We're not done yet. What's in here? Is this an office. Okay. No soda? No soda? Okay. And what about in here? A beer? Give me a beer. No beer? God dang it. Yeah, well, there's nothing here. I mean, there are there is stuff here, but there's not anything that I can use. I was really hoping for more. I really was. All right. So we gotta wait until he, uh, he, he he comes to us, then turns around, and then we can then we can make a, a, a beeline for the for the exit. Like right now. That's it right there. That's the way in and out right there. If we ever decide we want to do that again. So yeah, that's the that's the entry point right there. So all right guys. Well we didn't make get anything that I I I really saw that was like really cool. We didn't get through most of that, that bunker though, because I, I didn't have a pack. So we're gonna go ahead and head on out right quick. I'm going to head back to the house. Let's go ahead and try out. Let's see about this. Um, 
Let's see about burying the, one of these one of these chests. Let's make a chest and let's see if we can bury it. I'll be able to go back in. I'll get it. I'll get one of the packs. I'll go back in, and we will um, we'll do that again. Only this time I won't get killed. For sure, for sure, guarantee hundred percent I won't get killed this time. All right, let's see what it's going to take to make ourselves a couple of these boxes because I want to see what, it, what we're going to be able to do. Let's go ahead and let's make. An improvised metal chest is going to take uh, six scrap, a nail, and a lead plate. We have all that stuff. Let me find it, though. Okay, guys. Now, I, I, I'll I leave the patch notes down below in the description so you guys can take a look. But I saw when I noticed that they give an example in, in a video on, on how to bury bury your chest and whatnot. And the, the one that the example they gave was the wooden chest, the, the really improvised, uh, like, basic wooden chest. And it said it only lasts like two weeks. Oh, yeah, I kept that canteen, didn't I? Sweet, dude. Drink. Oh, man. Nice. All right, so anyway, um, and it said it only lasted two weeks. So what we're going to do is I'm going to test the metal one and see how long that's going to last underground. I'm just going to craft it. And we'll place it, put it right on this corner right here. This would be my little hidey hole. That, not that I need to, but like i just don't need to so place it right there and oh i need my toolkit let me grab my toolkit got the toolkit now we have i have the six metal uh scrap oh i thought i did maybe i didn't I only had five i need more okay i have to use another toolkit i have another toolkit and i have another piece of scrap here too so that's good there we go. All right, so there's the metal. <clears throat> excuse me. So there's the metal box, the improvised metal chest. And of course, it has a, well, it has a ton of storage, right? Because it's really big. All right, so we I got my small spade here, and so if I take my small spade in my hand, and then we go into hold down F, and then it has the bury option. We're gonna bury it. With my little baby spade, my little garden trowel here. A trowel might work too. I think a shovel is going to be faster than this. But we're going to be able to, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually bury your chest now. I said this for a long time that you need to be able to bury your, your, your chests because that would make you being able to be a nomad so much easier in a game. You get some really good loot and you don't want to carry it because you think you're afraid you're going to die. This is super good. All right, so now it's like unbear 11 days. What? 11 days? It decays in 12 days? Hang on, let's unbury that. We're going to check we're going to we're going to test the other one. I don't understand what is it all 12 days? Do you have to come by every 12 days and and unbury this stuff? It's got to be What's the matter? Are you tired or something? She was tired. Oh, wow, man. It tears up your stamina, dude. All right, so I'm going to leave that chest like it is right there. Oh, stand up, stand up, stand up. And let's make a uh, let's make a wooden chest and just test that one. The improvised wooden chest. See if it's any different. So the regular wooden chest just takes eight planks and three of whatever. Um, three, well, it takes different things, some sort of binding product. Uh, so let's go ahead and craft that. There we go. Let's go ahead and bury this one and see what that takes. You know, a metal box should last longer than a wooden box in the ground by a long, long time. Like it's going to take a lot longer for a, a, a metal box to rust through than it will be for a wooden box to rot through. So... Ooh, can I go ahead? Can I make this happen, Captain? All right, so it says seven days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So it's eight. What's eight days for a, this wooden box, and then it's twelve days for the for the metal box. So there is a big difference. So if you have the materials, go ahead and make your your metal box. You know, that's definitely what you're gonna want to do. I don't think I have enough stamina to unbury this box, but I don't want it getting destroyed. I'll forget where it's at. So. 
definitely want to put it next to wherever i mean like what i would do is i'd be like cut down a tree bury the box underneath the tree and then when the tree grows back you'll know you'll you'll be able to locate it that was an idea from one of my viewers i forget who who, who said that they're like they're like yeah man i i always like cut down a tree put uh, my item right there and then when the tree grows back it hides it well now that we can bury boxes um then we're going to be then then this is like the same type of thing there we go all right guys well there you go there it is that's uh that's burying boxes and i escaped the uh the clutches of that stupid mech but we didn't get anything out of the deal which is fine we can always go back now that i know the in and out of it it won't be a big deal we'll be able to get in and out of that that bunker without a problem i think Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to that bunker, yeah? Actually, they said that they finished the underground part of the new military base. So that military base is actually probably already there. So they just finished the underground part. So we're going to go to the military base in D4 next time. And I hope you join me. And we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.